Hello, hello friends, and welcome to another video. Long time, no talk. Like, holy shit, it has been a long time since I have vlogged. But, I literally was doing a Q&A on my Instagram story, and I got asked like seven times why I haven't vlogged, and you guys told me that you missed my vlogs, and I was like, I miss you too. But seriously, life has just been so busy. It is Saturday, the... 27th of March. I don't even know when the last time I vlogged was. Um, but it obviously is a weekend. I have a pretty chill weekend. So I thought I would just vlog and kind of give you some updates on my life and everything that's been going on. Um, I just got home from Will's. Um, we went and got some coffee and went on a nice little walk this morning. And I actually have a hair appointment for my extensions just to get them moved up. Um, so that's the first thing on the agenda today. And then we're gonna train with some friends and honestly see what else we get into. I really use the weekends to get my life together since weeks have been so crazy. But with that, I'll make some breakfast and enjoy the vlog. So we have breakfast. I just made um, pancakes, honestly, super quick. I just used this pancake mix from Trader Joe's. It's just like normal pancake mix and put a whole egg and a little bit of baking powder in there. And then I have egg whites and my micro factor. Also, I just, I'm happy I filmed that because I almost forgot. I'm gonna put a little bit of cashew butter on top too. I haven't had homemade pancakes in a little bit. So, pumped about this. I thought it was a good weekend breakfast. I forgot to vlog while I was in there, but I just got my hair done with Alyssa. I always feel so freaking fleeky but i just got my extensions moved up so as they grow out like every eight weeks or so you get them taken out and moved up um and i always do my color and my move ups in different appointments because otherwise it takes so long but this one was literally like an hour and a half that's my update but it's gonna be weird getting in the swing of things with vlogging again because i'm like wow i actually have to like show my life and it just isn't like it used to be kind of like second nature but it's just not anymore I just made up a quick little meal. I'm not super hungry, but I know I need to eat before I train because it's like 1.30 right now. Some things never change. You guys know I love my rice cakes. I have two caramel ones with cashew butter and banana. And then these have, are they just um, everything rice cakes? So good. And I just put some mashed avocado and then like deli turkey. So that's that. I forgot how much I like deli turkey but you have to get like the fresh sliced one like at the counter it's significantly better that's that gonna eat these and go train with adriana and courtney to the gym um and i wanted to show you guys the pre-workout i've been taking so i've been taking alpha surge which is a new supplement from first form i am quite literally obsessed with this. So it's basically a non-stim pre-workout. So I had a coffee this morning. I'm really doing good on limiting my caffeine, but it helps with focus number one and two, it is a pump product. So a lot of people don't realize like what a pump really is. They're just like, oh, like I get like that nice jack look in the gym. My muscles look bigger, which like is sick and I'm so here for that. But having a pump basically means there's increased blood flow to your muscle, which helps with mind-muscle connection, which helps with endurance, which helps with strength. So it's actually gonna help your performance in the gym. And I literally am just about to throw it away because I finished my first tub and I have noticed a huge difference when I take it. So I'm just gonna take this on my, my way to the gym. Also, super random, but um, Alani Nutrition, I don't know, like I'm assuming you guys know who they are, like this brand. They sent me a pre-workout and they sent me, it was like this whole like PR package in this box. Like that whole thing. And it had like a protein powder in it too that I just gave to Will. Cause like I literally just use first form. Car just ran out of space. But I was saying like, I literally have like never had contact with them. And I'm like very obviously very loyal to another company. And I just thought that was weird. But anyways, I gotta go cause I'm running late. I suck. I literally forgot to film that whole leg day and I really wanted to introduce you to Adriana and Courtney because they're just really freaking cool. But we had a group leg day. Um, 
Courtney and Adriana are both competitors who like train at my gym, um, and they're coached by Will. So I actually prepped like with Adriana, like we did the same show, and Courtney's prepping now. And I was like, I am not. I'm not planning on, like, competing, like, probably ever again, um, and I'll talk more on that, but I still love training like that, and I love training really freaking hard, and I love them, so it was really, really fun, because I hadn't seen Adriana literally since our show, which was in July, um, and Courtney, I, like, see in passing all the time, we always say we're gonna train, and then we don't, so... It was so good to see her, um, and I actually just dropped off some alignment planners. It's 5 o'clock. I literally walked in there at 4.59. So, alignment planners are still available, and people are still just buying them and loving them, and it makes me so happy because that was such a passion project. I still use mine every single day, but the post office is right by Starbucks. So, every time I come, which is like a few times a week to drop off the planners, I go get myself a Starbucks. So, that's what we're going to do. My camera ran out of space, but I got Melissa a matcha latte, iced matcha latte, and I get a venti cold brew with half and half, one Splenda and sugar-free vanilla. Makes me so happy. And I'm gonna be lit from this. I really have been working on cutting back on my caffeine, so I really just have like my coffee in the morning um, and then if I really need it, I'll have like an energy drink before I train. But sometimes I just have my coffee and when I drop off planners, I usually get my cold brew. Um, and it gets me freaking jazzed, which it blows my mind because during prep, I would have like probably like two or three cups of coffee in the morning. Um, I'd have like one on my way to fasted cardio and then one or two after. And then I would have an energy drink before I trained. And then sometimes another energy drink. Like that's disgusting to me now. But yo, your girl is tired. Hey, Familia, we are back. I just made my post-workout meal and I'm not doing like a full day of eating or anything. I don't really know what I'll vlog the rest of today, honestly, but I had to show you guys because I've been on a taco kick recently. So we have some nice shrimp tacos. And seriously, easiest meal ever if you don't have a lot of time. Like this took me about two seconds to make. So I just have three corn tortillas. I just have shrimp and rice that I had pre-cooked with, I think I have like some zucchini and peppers and onions. And what is key is I spread one of these. Um, I just split it up on the tortillas and it's so good like literally spread it on the bottom then i just have some shredded lettuce and split up one of these um guacamole cups so that is the macros for one cup and then i have some of this salsa from trader joe's so i'm sad because melissa's not here and i should have texted her before i bought her that matcha latte but that'll just be in the fridge for her and um i am in the process of like cleaning out all of my clothes and stuff so um i'll link my poshmark in the description box i'm selling a lot of clothes and stuff on poshmark and then i am just donating a lot to goodwill but in the process of just like purging all that so i'm doing 20 minutes a day so I'm going to do that and probably just shower and then hang out with Will later, but I'm not sure what else I'll vlog. So I'll keep you posted, um, but that's my little update. Okay, so it has been a hot minuto since I've talked to you. My eyes are so red from my lashes, and I think I said it earlier, but I think I need to stop getting them because my eyes actually really hurt, and it used to never be like this, so I feel like I have like an allergic reaction or something to the glue, but anyways... I got a lot of work done on my computer, and I told you I've been working on, like, cleaning out all of my drawers and my closet and just, like, getting rid of clothes. So, look at this, fam. All of this stuff is, like, really nice stuff that I want to, um, put up on Poshmark. So, like I said, I'll put that, my, um, like, link in the description box. And then I already brought a bag out to my car, but I have that that I'm giving to Goodwill. But I'm just about to shower um, and then go hang out with Will for the night. And usually, like, we both rest on Sundays. So we kind of just, like, chill in the morning together, walk, whatever. So I might bring you along for that. But 
Yeah, we're just gonna chill. He was getting body work done and he was literally there for like two freaking hours. So, um, hopefully he feels like a new man. Okay, um, it's Sunday evening. And honestly, I went over to Will's last night. We just chilled. I woke up this morning and I just wanted to spend my day with him. Like my days recently because everything has been so crazy in such a positive way with alignment. Like there's always something to do and it's so important for me to have a day where even if vlogging isn't like work behind a laptop like it's still something I have to do and like I have to be on for and I always take Sundays just to like Instagram social media YouTube whatever like I just detach from it and I never tell myself I like, can't work because then all I want to do is work. But like today it was just some like odds and ends and back end stuff. Um, Alignment is actually launching a free course, a mindset course this week. So I worked a little bit on that. Um, and Will and I just like took the day to just be. We went to brunch. Um, we went down to the beach and ended up meeting up with some friends there. We got acai. We just chilled. Um, anyways, um, I always go to the grocery store on Sundays. It's kind of like I really can only go like once a week now I used to be kind of like could go to the store and get, grab a couple things a few times a week and I just don't have time um so I'll show you guys my haul um I'm at Ralph's and Trader Joe's but if there's a line at Trader Joe's I'm not gonna go so um I can get everything I need at Ralph's but that is what I'm gonna do because we want to make sure we're stocked up on food for the week I'm gonna grab Will a couple things and then I just need to run home um, I'll probably like shower and stuff. We are back from the store and I will say this is for myself and for Will. So whenever I go to the store, now because I say it Will's like every night. Um, so I always eat my last couple meals there. So I kind of have to like double grocery shop, which is definitely not cost effective. But he also hates going to the grocery store, which I will never understand. Anyways, just keep that in mind. I did get some spinach just for my eggs. Um, I got some shreddy lettuce. This is for my tacos. Got a couple bags of Brussels sprouts. These are just like shaved half Brussels sprouts. And I always bring those to Will's. I got some salmon. I love those healthy fats. I also just love having salmon at night. Um, for protein pre-workout, you guys saw yesterday, I've been having deli turkey, so I always get um, the one at the counter because it's so much better. Salsa for tacos. I got some mushrooms for eggs. I got some blueberries and some strawberries for the micronutrientes. This is for Will. Um, he's been having a really hard time getting his food in because his food is so high which i'm kind of like dude i've eaten more than you so he's eating like 300 and something grams of protein and like 500 and something grams of carbs and like 80 grams of fat i'm like i've done the carbs and fat before um if you guys have watched my old bulking full days of eating but that's a lot of protein that would keep you really full so anyways i got him some milk and he wanted rice krispies so we can have cereal because it's just like less filling than eating like rice which is what's on his meal plan he follows meal plan i got myself some rice checks i already have honey nut checks and i like to mix them but the rice krispies aren't gluten free and i kind of like having like a savory cereal got myself i love sushi rice and i haven't gotten it in so long i got myself some sushi rice i just make in the rice cooker i got some sugar free syrup some egg whites for the morning some fat free ready whip. I put this on my cream of rice at night so I always keep myself stocked at Will. Another thing, um, Will I think usually has like cream of rice on his meal plan but even that's been making him really full. So he's been doing English muffins. So I got him those. Got some whole eggs. I always get the pasteurized ones. The yolk is literally a different color because it just has so many nutrients in it. So highly recommend getting pasteurized organic eggs. Last, I got a couple of these water flavorings just to help me when I'm sucking at getting my water in. And guys, it is Girl Scout season and I stopped to get Will Samoas. 
which are always my favorite Girl Scout cookie, but I didn't know that they had gluten-free Girl Scout cookies now. These are the toffee-tastic ones. So I got myself these too. So yeah, let's see. Seven fat, 19 carb, less than one protein for two cookies. So we have to do a taste test, but they come in this little log. This is what they look like. Mmm. Bitch. Okay, I like love toffee. So this is really good. It's like buttery but sweet and it kind of has that like toffee texture. There's literally bits of this fell out. Bits of toffee in there. Shit, ma'am. That is good. Wowie. Also, you guys missed it because I was on an Oreo kick for a minute. There are now gluten-free Oreos and those suckers are bomb, but it's perfect because I just ran out. So now I have a new seasonal cookie. Wow. If you guys have tried them, let me know. Also comment your favorite Girl Scout cookie because mine still would be Samoa's, but obviously that's just like not an option now. But anyways, just had to share that. Before I close out this vlog, I just wanted to give you guys some updates on life. So on like, yes, the fitness side of things, but also business side of things. And let's start with the business side of things because honestly, um, that is what takes up most of my life nowadays. And I say that and I don't want to sound like, oh my gosh, like work just takes all of my time um, because that's not the case, right? Like I have so many amazing friends. I have an amazing boyfriend. I do really try to make time to prioritize myself, but the growth alignment has experienced these past few months has been unreal, and I am so fucking passionate about it. Um, to me, it's not just a coaching business. Like, I get to change women's lives, and I get to interact with those women every day, and yes, I love the business side of things. Like, y'all know because you were with me, but I went to college for business like that's what I studied and so it's really really cool and really interesting to me and I've learned so freaking much I know both Melissa and I have but it's really fucking cool being able to run a business with your best friend and um we just brought on another assistant coach so as of this vlog we're about to bring another one on tomorrow so we'll have um holy shit five assistant coaches or not even assistant coaches they are the alignment coaches Melissa and I have really taken a back seat in more of like a CEO role life so that's been really freaking cool um yeah so that's what's been taking up most of my time you guys know since I broke my wrist which we're all good now um but I started eating intuitively and I really just took time to, and I did this after my last show too I think it just Prep, even though I fucking love it, it does wear you out, right? And you do have to lead a very one-dimensional life and a very selfish life. And um, I think I kind of come to the end of it. And I always have this big wake-up call of, like, there is so much else out there that is so much more important to me, you know? And um, the life I lead during prep, if I were to die tomorrow and have only given what I can give during prep to the world, I would not be okay with that. Um, and I just feel like I show up so much better as a friend, as a girlfriend, as a coach, as a business owner when I'm not prepping. So anyways, um, I'm not going to compete again. If you didn't get that gist, there's just so much more as much as I love it. And I love the competitive side of things. And I think I did keep a really good head on my shoulders this time around. Um, and it was really, really fun. There's no way to not get hyper focused on it. And I even coming out of it, I was like, oh, for sure prep again. And the further removed you get from it, the more you realize, like, it's just not worth it, especially as a female. Um, like, I'm still working on regulating my cycle. I get my period, but it's very irregular, and my PMS symptoms suck, and that's something I'm not okay with. Um, and just your no one's body functions optimally. Like, it took me a long time to get my digestion back to 100% and all that kind of stuff after 
So anyways, um, I took a step back and I was just kind of like, I will always train. Training is something that I do because I fucking love it. Um, and it makes me feel good. It is so much about so much more to me than just the physical side of things. It is like my release during the day. And like I said, I grew up an athlete. And so for me, it's always really, really important um and I always will train even if it's not like bodybuilding but I was doing classes for a while I was doing more like functional training stuff and it was really really fun um but I when I'm eating intuitively right you are listening to your body and because I am very very good at listening to my body um I really just maintain right like and I don't even know. I don't even remember what my stage weight was, honestly. Um, so I was up a bit for my stage weight and I definitely had like gained weight, but I know that I'm still very, very lean and I, yes, want to set a good example and body positivity is like everyone's body looks different. And I, and I have a naturally lean body and I fucking hate that I get shit for just being lean because I don't try. Like I really don't try. Um, but I also know that it might just take more work for me to raise my body set point. And I think that gaining some weight um, probably will help with regulating my hormones. And I also, this again is the athlete said to me, I want to get fucking strong. Um, and it's fun, again, for me to have like a physique related goal. So for me, like I really want to grow my legs and I really want to grow my lower body. And you heard me talk about the business side of things. What I found when I was eating intuitively is like food just kind of took a back seat, right? Like I ate when I could, I ate when I was hungry. Um, and that was not putting me in a surplus <laughs> at all. Um, and so I, Will's coaching me again and we're, I'm sure I'll get a lot of questions about how's it having your boyfriend coach you. We're real, we keep it separate. Like I check in on my check-in days. He gives me macros. That's it. Um, and I'm really coachable. Like I don't question shit unless I like have a legitimate question and want to learn. So he's been coaching me for the last couple weeks. I'm back on tracking macros. My food's honestly very high for me. Um, but I'm kind of approaching it. Like I don't weigh things out. Usually I know my portion sizes. I'm super chill about it. Um, if things come up and I like can't hit my macros or I like go out to eat, I like estimate a lot of stuff. So I'm much looser with it than I have been in the past. But for me, having that structure and accountability has helped a lot. And like my weight has been going up, which makes me really happy. Um, again, it's not because of anyone else. It's just because I'm like, I want to freaking grow. I've been getting strong as hell. Um, and it feels good to have that goal after like four months of, cause yeah, it was, November, December, January, February, half of March. So like five months um, of eating intuitively. It just feels, and just kind of being like whatever about fitness stuff. Um, it feels really, really good to like have that goal. But again, it's just a much more lax thing. And it's just for me, like, I think it's cool to be able to be like, okay, like, yeah, I want to have a physique related goal, but it's for me. It's not for like what judges want, right? Like I'm growing my legs because I want some fucking legs. Not because I'm like, oh my God glutes need to grow for the judges on stage, right? Um, so that's actually been really, really fun. Again, I'm just always going to do what feels right. And for me, like this is fun. Um, and I'm still like, I, I named this year my feel good year and I still feel really good. And I'm always going to do what is in no pun intended, what is in alignment for me. So anyways, I'll do a full day of eating soon. But that's kind of where I'm at with things. This is really long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog.